What's going on, fellow DJs? This is Dale, the Party Planet DJs, coming to you live and direct this Sunday afternoon from my garage. I know this is where a lot of us set up practice and make sure everything's good to go with our stuff before we take it out live on a real event. Um, so that's where I'm at. But uh, let me tell you about something that's really cool that I found that'll help a lot of DJs out. Hopefully it'll help you out like it's helped me out. Um, so let me get started. Uh, first of all, let me show you what I got. I've got uh, my table here with uh, this underlit with an ADJ mega bar underneath it. I've got a couple ADJ you know, pocket spot twins on these K subs poles with some K12s on top. And uh, back here, I know it's kind of glaring. I've got the uh, ADJ dots T par system and I've got another one there and they are scrimmed and got some pars underneath them to light them up and this one over here has got a video screen because I like video mix so let me take you over here and we can see what we're talking about all right so if you're anything like me you hate DMX programming your lights it takes hours to set up the steps and scenes and set up your lights and make a cool professional uniform looking light show but uh so i could see why a lot of djs would just say screw that i'm just gonna go sound active mode but hey if it works for you cool um like i said i like it to look uniform or professional so i'll bite the bullet and i'll do the dmx programming uh but you know if you're a typical dj like me you gotta have the latest and greatest so when you buy uh new stuff and you sell your old stuff and you gotta incorporate that new stuff into your old into your existing uh, DMX light show. It takes a, another few hours to program all that. So I can see why a lot of guys would say screw that. But uh, let me show you this cool thing that I found that'll get rid of all that. This is called Light Rider. This is on my iPad right now. So that it's an iOS application. I, I believe it works for Android devices as well. And uh, this straight out the box per se, or when you download it right onto your device, will take care of all your DMX programming and you will never have to program any other light again. Uh, for the iPad, you will need something that's called an ArtNet device, which I have underneath my setup. And this helps connect your DMX devices to the iPad so they can communicate and allow you, you know, it's not tethered to this. This is just, you know, right here, it's just the, the lightning connector so it gets power and doesn't die. But, you know, I could take this off the, the mount here and I could walk around and it'll be truly portable. A lot of DMX devices are not like that. But again, like I said, all you need to do is tell it what fixtures you have and what channels they're running and it'll do everything else. So right now I have it stopped on the white scene, but uh, let me show you what we got here. So on the left here, we've got moves. Okay, these uh, control your movers, and on the right side here, you, uh, if I get my finger in there right there, we got colors, and those control the colors of your lights. So, let me show you what we got. Up here, there's an auto mood, okay? So again, remember, I didn't program anything. Right now it's off, let me hit the low. Boom, check that out. Now low, means slow and that's auto program i did not do anything except tell it what kind of lights i had and what channels they're running so next one here is medium Goes a little bit faster and this one's called hot and boom check that out again i did nothing okay so Let's get some music in here. That's right, I'm old school. I like rocking the old school, so that's what I do. But, uh, so let me turn that off. And uh, you can hit stop here, okay? And uh, it's got some banks here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but it's banks of 10 that you can do the presets and then it's got 50 of them, so 10, 10, 10, 10, all the way up to 50, okay? So let me show you a couple presets that I programmed. 
This one's called Slow Red. I did a couple, you know, just regular static colors. That's blue. Here's white. So aqua. Right? So check this out. This little icon right up here, this is a freeze. Okay? You touch that and you hold it. Frozen. Hit it again. Back to the way it was. Okay? This one here on sunglasses. That's for a blinder. Check this out. I tap it. Didn't do anything. There we go. There we go. Boom. Let it go. Boom. This explanation point here is called Wow. Check this out. Let it go. Back to normal. It's got a blackout. So if you hit that blackout, Out, tap it again back to normal okay so this is a slow preset going but you can change uh, the move speed so or the move program so I got this little duck going see how it changes the pattern I hit speed and I can speed it up I can change that pattern see how the pattern change I can hit speed Check this out. I did a couple other banks, uh, preset banks. This one called just fast. I call them all fast. And I was changing the color. Okay. And this is, it's got, I got this one set to the BPM, but you can also do sound active. But if I tap this out, it's going pretty good to the beat, right? It's got a master dimmer where you can dim everything down. Back up. So you can change. That was a little disco ball. That program there. Some lights. This one's called Carousel. This one's called a sparkler. So you got all that. So check this out. It's called Light Rider. It's in the App Store, the Google Play Store. And uh, you won't have to do any more DMX programming ever again. All right? So here we go. Enjoy.